Hi, welcome to AutoCAD customizing the keyboard from our tips, tricks and tactics video series. The keyboard is one of the easiest items to customize in AutoCAD and in my many years of CAD management experience one of the most productive. Many AutoCAD users are reasonably good at using the keyboard and can get to commands quicker than many of the other customization methods. We're going to look at three different ways of customizing the keyboard inside AutoCAD. The first method is by customizing the PGP file or program parameters file. The second method is by customizing the CUI or customize user interface file. And the third and last method is by creating an LSP or auto lisp file. In this session, we're going to be looking at the CUIX file. So where is the CUIX file? You can find the ACAD.CUIX file tucked away under each user's roaming folder on C drive. It's like walking through a maze to try and find it. However, you will notice that under the AutoCAD options command, it is in the first shown folder under support file search paths. Many people ask, can I move this file? And the answer is yes. However, I think it's a better idea to create a new CUIX file that you can customize and use the CUI load or menu load command to bring it into AutoCAD. We will show you how to do this in this video. Your new CUIX file should be placed in a central CAD library area as it is easy to reconnect to these files whenever you upgrade and it's easy to give other users access to these files by either copying them to their C drive or to a commonly shared area on your server. So let's look at three different methods for setting this up. The first option is if you are a standalone user working on your PC with no server. Why not create a new folder on your C drive with a subfolder, say called CAD library? and another subfolder under that called support. Save the new CUX file into here. The next thing to do is in AutoCAD, go into options and add this new path to the top of your support file search paths so that AutoCAD finds and uses this folder and its files first. The second option is if you are a network user working on your PC with a server and all users have to use the same company customized CUIX file. Why not create a new folder on the server, in this example, your S drive, with a subfolder again called CAD library, and another subfolder under that called support. Save the new CUIX file into here. The next thing to do is in AutoCAD, go into options and add this new path to the top of your support file search paths so that AutoCAD finds and uses this folder and its files first. Remember, if this file is edited, it affects all users, so it is normally managed by the CAD manager. The third option is if you are a network user working on your PC with a server, and you are allowed to work on your own customized CUIUX file. More often than not, users have a personal drive on the server, normally the H drive. Create a subfolder, again called CAD library, and another subfolder under that called support. Save the new CIX file into here. The next thing to do is in AutoCAD, go into options and add this new path to the top of your support file search paths so that AutoCAD finds and uses this folder and its files first. Remember, this file can be customized by each individual user to suit their requirements and any editing does not affect other users. Let's look how to create, edit and use this new CIX file. In AutoCAD at the command prompt type CUI, hit enter. Okay, this will bring up the customized user interface dialog box. Select the transfer tab. In this example, I'm going to save the new CIX file as individual. Dot file. So I'll come in here 
and I will save that. Now I'm going to save this in my CCAD library support and call that individual. Okay, now we'll select the customize tab. We will load that individual CUIX. You'll see it's now the current one, so we're actually editing this one. If I come down to the keyboard shortcuts and pick on shortcut keys, you'll see all of these keys available here using control, shift, alt keys and function keys. We'll talk about that a little bit later. If I come down here to my new command, I can actually change that. So the command I'm going to call it ZW for zoom window. I'll put in a macro there of zoom window oops zoom and it's a semicolon for enter window for enter so you can see this command's made i will now drag that up to be a shortcut key so you can see it appearing in here if i pick on it there come down to this properties area where the keys are pick on this more button now I can type whatever I want. So I'm going to do it using Control, Alt, and W. You can see that was what I was pressing on the keyboard. It comes up here. Hit OK. So you can see anytime I do Control, Alt, Window, I will be calling up my ZW, which is my Zoom Window command. If I go OK, let's just draw a rectangle there. Now, Control, Alt, W. There's my Zoom Window command. Now I could repeat this for Zoom Extent, Zoom Previews, any other AutoCAD commands I want. You can use a wide range of keys and key combinations to create these keyboard shortcuts, such as the function keys, the number pad keys, Keys combined with the control button, such as letters, numbers, and functions, or what we call a virtual key. The virtual keys are the escape, insert, delete, home, end, page up and down, left, right arrow, and up and down arrow. We could also do control alt combinations with letter, number, function, and virtual key, or control shift combinations, or control shift alt combinations. So in closing, if you want more information about customizing your keyboard or need assistance in setting it up, do not hesitate to contact Interscale at any time. Until next time, thank you.